I'm 25 years old, I'm teaching third grade, and I love teaching third grade. I basically have an eight-year-old's sense of humor, so it really works out. <laughs> The problem is at this time, nothing else is really happening in my life. Uh, my friends are all falling in love around me. I'm terrified of online dating, which was new at the time. And I also happen to feel like I'm the ugliest one of my friends. They've spoken to me about it, but I hadn't been convinced. And it finally got so bad that I decided I've got to do something. I've got to go on an adventure and get out of here and make myself beautiful, I guess. And someone told me about these uh, volunteer work adventures where you know you just pay airfare and then you get to go and work somewhere uh, for free and they pay your room and board. And so I go online and I'm deciding between two trips. And the first trip is uh, volunteering at an arts festival in Calabria, Italy. The second one is um, being a tour guide in a troll village in Iceland. <laughs> and I wish I was here to tell you a story about a troll village in Iceland. Unfortunately, I am not, because which one's gonna make me beautiful? It's Calabria, right? I mean, I can see it, it's sunny, there's an olive tree, I'm working on a mosaic. There's like an Italian painter who gives me pasta or something, I don't know, I didn't really think that part through. And, um, and he kisses me, and I'm tan in this fantasy, which I am not in this reality. And I decide this is what's gonna happen, and so I go, and right away, it starts to happen like I thought, it's sunny and there are olive trees, and there is even an artist. Um, one of the other volunteers is this sculptor named Malen. He's French. He has long hair, which I find amazing, and he also very rarely wears a shirt. And <laughs> he doesn't speak very great English, but I took AP French for three years, so I'm like, this is gonna work out. So. So the first night, we're supposed to serve food at this festival, and we're all given um, t-shirts for the festival, and there's this other volunteer who's also there. Her name is Jordina. Jordina is gorgeous. She looks like she's made out of olive oil and sex, <laughs> right? And she's taken her t-shirt, and you know how when you make a scoop neck out of your t-shirt, she's cut her t-shirt down, but she's also cut it up. There's basically a strip of fabric on her. She looks amazing. And Malen comes up to me and says, you know, I could fix your shirt for you if you want. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know. And so he cuts it while it's on me with a knife. And when I look down, I do not look like olive oil and sex, you guys. I look like cookie dough. Um, but it's okay, I laugh, um, but I, I go and change as soon as possible, and, and I know that the next day, it's gonna be all right, because the next day is Kids Day. And this is where kids from all over the villages and towns are gonna come and do art. This is what I can do, right? This is my jam, and this is gonna really impress Malen also. So the next day, huge canvas, paints everywhere, and I'm sort of waiting to see what happens. I don't speak any Italian, but this little kid comes over next to me, maybe five years old, a black bowl cut, and he sort of sits down near me and, and draws a circle on the canvas. And I reach over and I draw cat ears on the circle. And he looks at me like, okay. <laughs> and he goes, Bruno. And I go, Michaela. <laughs> so we start drawing cats and having a good time. And later, Malen comes up to me and says, you know, you're very good with children. And I'm like, thank you. And he says, when I get back to France, I want to teach sculpture to autistic children. And I'm like, it's not enough that he never wears a shirt? <laughs> and I say, you know, that's so interesting. Um, have you ever read the book, A Curious Incident of the Dog in Nighttime? Um, it's about autism. And he says, no, but in my bag right now in French, I have The Strange Happening of the Dog at Midnight. And I'm like, that's the same book here. <laughs> English is not great. And he says, and he says, you know, if you want, you can borrow it and you can practice your French. And I think this is a very good idea because when we have children, I want them to speak English and French. <laughs> this is practical, I want to speak French to them. It keeps going on and on like this and our conversations get deeper and we get closer and finally it's the last night, we're standing outside and there is moonlight. And we are talking and he's, and he's looking at my mouth. And my friends had told me, this is good information for you if you want it, my friends had told me that when a guy looks at your mouth, it means he wants to kiss you. I'm like, okay. So I lean forward. He says, um, I care about you so much. And I'm like, me too. And he says, I just wish you were more attractive. Oh. Can I say I wish you had all been behind me when this happened? <laughs> This is how I found out this whole time he'd been sleeping with Jordina, the olive oil girl. Oh. And on the way home, on the night train, 
from Calabria, I got robbed. And I lost everything, including my camera. And I'm sitting on this train thinking, I'm glad I lost my camera. I don't want to see pictures of what I looked like on this trip. Which is why, when I got home, I decided Italy didn't make me beautiful. I'm going to make myself beautiful. So four days later, I'm sitting in the chair at a plastic surgeon's office, and I'm going to fix my nose. And I tell him this, and he says, oh, your nose is not the problem. And I think he's going to say, your self-confidence is the problem, which is what they always say. He says, no, your chin is the problem. <laughs> If you just got a chin augmentation, it would really balance out your face. And I go home and I, and I look in the mirror and I'm like, he's right. And so is Malen. And I make the appointment. And um, that's when I get a package in the mail. And it's a CD from one of the other volunteers, this American named Jack. There's a note in it and it says, I heard you lost all your stuff. And here are all the photographs that I took on this trip. This is before selfies, so the, the ones I lost, I wasn't in a lot of those photos, but I know I'm gonna be in these photos. And I'm scrolling through and I'm like confirmed. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And then I finally get to one photo and I didn't know it was being taken and it was from Kids Day. And it's me and that little kid Bruno. And we're at the canvas and I've got paint on my face and I'm cracking up and so is he. And I look so happy. I look like I'm in the exact place I wanna be. And I have to admit, I look beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.